ago I posted a video talking about I was having some issues with um, build up in my locks um, some products that I use and um, one of my subscribers Angela Hines um, put me onto a video with uh, Still Mia Bia and um, she did a video about the Be Coiled Hair Balm Detoxifying Hair Balm and um, so I ordered it and I'm going to try it and I'm going to take you guys on my journey to use it. This is how it came in the box. Invoice, nice little note. Um, and then of course the directions. And uh, here is the hair bomb. So wrapping it. it smells wonderful it really does um, I got tea tree and peppermint and so um, the directions say so directions say fill the sink a water basin with warm water drop the entire bee balm into water with it to dissolve soak the crown for 10 to 15 minutes, squeeze off into loosen and release, build up and debris, shampoo after completing your detox. Um, so I'm going to decide which sink um, is going to be more comfortable for me to soak my head in for that amount of time since I don't have um, one of the like shampoo bowl type sinks. And then I'll be back. Okay, so as you can see, um, Decide to just use the bathroom sink. It seems so pretty yeah. deep. Um, so I have filled the sink up with water, and then now I'm about to drop the bomb into the water so that it can fully dissolve, and then I will soak my hair. The bomb is in the water now. I'm gonna let that dissolve fully, like the instructions said, and then I will come back when it's all dissolved, and you can see me soaking my hair. So, as you can see, sorry about my camera, the bad bomb, as noted, and um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna soak. This. Show you guys. So I'm supposed to do this for like 10 or 15 minutes. Um, and in between, I'm supposed to squeeze my hair often to loosen and release the buildup. So I'm gonna do my best to follow those directions. But I've got my timer going and I'm sure you guys don't wanna see me um, doing this, um, but I will pause and I will be back with you guys shortly so you can see the results. Okay, so I'm done soaking, and this is what the water looks like now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm a little bit embarrassed, but that's the whole reason why you do the hair detox. So now, um, per the instructions, I'm supposed to get in the shower, or I guess I don't have to get in the shower, but I need to shampoo my hair now. So I'm going to wash my hair and I'll be back. Good morning. Um, this is the day after the hair bomb. Um, after I washed my hair, I did cornrows. And now it's actually 
actually not morning anymore, it's afternoon. Um, so um, I'm taking the cornrows down and get ready to go somewhere. But um, I'm gonna take them down and check out and see if I got rid of some of the buildup, any of the buildup, or all of it. So stay tuned. All right, y'all. So I have been bringing y'all along my journey. Um, I detoxed my hair last night with um, the LaCoil B Balm, which is basically a detoxifying balm. I used um, the Tea Tree and Peppermint Balm, and I um, followed the directions, uh, did everything I was supposed to do, washed my hair afterwards, put it in cornrows, and then this morning, um, or actually this afternoon, I'm taking it down. Now, I don't know if you guys will be able to see this, but I still have quite a bit of build up. Um, there's no doubt that the bomb detoxifying my hair. I mean, you saw, you saw what the color of the water was. So it definitely got out a lot of dirt that my locks were holding. Um, but as far as actually um, helping to get rid of the buildup, um, and I'm sure maybe it did get rid of some of it, but I still have quite a bit of buildup. Um, but I would still use the bomb, the uh, bee balm again, um, just because it smelled so good. Um, it made my hair feel good, um, looks shiny and healthy. Um, it just if you're using it primarily to try to get lock buildup out, I'm not sure if you can see that good. I'm sure right there. Yeah, right there. Um, I'm not sure that that's what you want to use if that's really what you're trying to use it for. Um, so uh, that's pretty much it for me. Um, uh, so I guess what I'm going to be doing next is um, I'm probably going to use this semi-permanent hair color rinse um, that I used last time I got filled up in my hair and I will use that to kind of um, camouflage some of the buildup that I have in my box. I mean, I, you know, this happens. Um, it's just you have to make the best out of it. So that's gonna be my next step. I tried to get it out, um, like I said, with apple cider vinegar, about the bomb, everything. Um, so my next step will be to my permanent hair color, and then if I can't, um, uh, if that doesn't work good, then I'll go ahead and um, use permanent hair color. But I'm trying to stay away from that so much. Um, so that's it for now. Um, as you can see, I haven't cut my hair yet. <laughs> Let me try, um, you know. But I'm gonna try to stick with it as long as I can. Um, can't make any promises. Um, I may get on here one day and this cut, cut off, but not cut off, off, but I'm thinking right there would be great length for me that's where I really liked my hair when it was that length. So um anyways guys thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon.